Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about handling failures in event-driven architecture. So before that, we are going to simulate here a use case scenario in order to make it clear what we are trying to achieve here. So remember guys, we are going to focus on consumer side because the producer side, we are going to deal with it in another video. So let's suppose that our application, let's suppose our microservice decision receives an event from Kafka, okay? And when we handle the message or the event, some exception can occur, right? For example, we try to persist the event into database, but we get the connection timeout. Or for example, if we try to hit another endpoint, another application, we can get also a timeout. So how can we deal with it? What Spring Cloud Stream provides to us in order to deal with this kind of failures? So this is what we are going to do in this video. So let's go. So before going deep into details, I want to simulate here an exception, okay, in this event handler. So that order, let me just, for example, here propagate an exception. So here we are throwing an exception. So this is an example, just an example, okay, that can show us what will happen when an exception occurs in event handler, right? So you can imagine here we are, for example, invoking an external API, right? So now let's run our application, our decision microservice, and also let's run our customer microservice. And then let's create a customer which uh, his name starts with N. So in that order, let's see what's happening. Of course, we got the exception. The exception is the customer is invalid, just the same that we are throwing here. So what's happening here? When we receive the message, the event for the first time, Spring Cloud Stream will try to process the message and as we can see, an exception occurs and the same way Spring Cloud Stream will retry to process the same message again, as we can see here, again, and then the exception will be uh, propagated. So like the application will uh, stop trying or retrying to process the, the message. Okay, so what's happening here? is that Spring Cloud Stream is using another project from Spring, which is the Spring Retry project, okay? Retry template and so on, that behind the scenes, it gets the first, the first time, okay, the event, we, uh, the application gets the context and it knows that there is an exception. So it will retry once and twice, so, and after, it's just going to give up, something like that. So what's happening here is uh, we are using the retry, okay? So there is a concept called retry. And the retry sometimes is not so, uh, can, we, we cannot retry ever exception. Let's suppose that it was, for example, bad request, right? If you retry the bad request, it will give you again bad request, right? So we should think careful be before using the retry. So that's why I'm trying to explain you guys here what we can do and how Spring is doing it behind the scenes. So if we take, for example, here, the consumer properties, we will see that, let me just show you guys here. So we will see that there is a max attempt, okay? A back off, inter a, a, a back off initial interval and back off max interval. So what's happening here? What Spring is doing here? So the first thing that we need to understand is that Spring behind the scenes, it uses the concept of retry, okay? The default value of the retry is true. So that's why the application tried, okay? Once, twice, and third time to process the, 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 the event, okay? And it's, it's very nice, okay? It's very good when the, 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 the Spring application is trying to retry for us, but sometimes it's not what we need. And sometimes, for example, as we can see here, what's happening here is that 
the first time, okay, spring retries, okay, but the interval between the first and the second is one second. So how can we customize it? Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys here how we can deal with it. So this concept is called by a stateful retry. Okay, you can just, for example, uh, try to read uh, uh, in documentation. Okay, what is stateful retry? And it's very nice and important concept. So, but for now, let's, for example, change here some properties in order to say, okay, Spring, don't retry just like that. Okay. Uh, for example, I don't want you to retry ever uh, um, one uh, second, okay? So the first thing that we can do, for example, uh, is by changing the max attempt, okay? Let's suppose that we want to retry uh, five, five times or just twice. So in order to do that, we can just use, for example, here the configurations. So we say that consumer and then we just say the max attempt, for example, in our case, will be five. And if we try to run our application once again, so let's clean, let's create once again, the same customer with N, okay? The, the customer names uh, starts with N, so it will throw us an exception, okay? It's retrying, it's retrying. And as we can see, retry once again, and then boom, exception will occur. So as we can see here, this is the same message, okay? It's, it's, it's printing the same log, processing, um, uh, transforming the customer. So as we can see here, one, two, three, four, five. So this is what we have done here. Till here, everything is okay. So the next thing that we can do, for example, is say, let's suppose that we are retrying every second. Okay. Of course that it's not, it's not doing every second because, uh, spring is using the concept of back off, back off pattern. Remember guys, you can read a little bit more about back off pattern, but we are, we are going to understand here. So let's suppose that we want to say, okay, spring, the, Initial interval should be great greater than uh, let's suppose here um, uh, One second so in that order you do the same Okay, we have just to do the same here and We put it here for example, and we say okay the initial Okay, the initial interval should be for example, let's suppose um, Five seconds Okay, and if we run our application once again, we will see that the, the interval between the first attempt and the second will be five seconds. This is very nice because sometimes we need to give time for our, uh, let's suppose, our server side to recover from that failure. Let's suppose if we try to um, retry every second, maybe the, 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 uh, that application is handling a request. So we need to give some time, right? So this is, we are trying to, we, we, we are starting using the concept of uh, back off, okay? Back off pattern. Just take a look in internet or Stack Overflow, what is back off pattern? So now let's run our application once again, clean here the, the console and let's, for example, here, create our customer, okay? So if we take a look here, now, the initial interval, okay, will be greater than before, okay? So this is, now we are start dealing with back off pattern, okay? So let's take a look here. The first time, it was uh, 49, okay? Then uh, 54, okay? Then... Okay, so as we can see, now we had the, the, the back off interval here. Uh, the back off, when the back off uh, is exhausted, okay, then the spring will, for example, give us an exception. It will stop retrying, okay? So let's suppose that we, we, have, um, we have the follow configuration. Let's suppose here we have, for example, let's suppose we have here, for example, one second, okay, and we have uh, here, the max attempt, let's suppose it, it is um, five. So by default configurations, right? 
what we will have is something uh, like exponential, right? Because the 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 the, the the algorithm that we are using the back of, okay, is has a multiplier. So, for example, here we need to to give a multiplier in order to make it clear. Let's copy. Let's paste it here, okay. And then we give the back of multiplier, okay. So let's suppose that the back of multiplier will be two, okay. So what will happen here is the first time that we are going to run okay, our application, it will retry um, uh, after, as we can see here, after uh, one second. Okay? The next time it will retry after two seconds. And then, as we have here the multiplier, it will, instead of uh, 3000 mi uh, milliseconds, it will be 4000 and so on, right? So, guys. I think I think uh, I don't want this to to be so complex. So you can just, for example, read a little bit more. Okay, you can, for example, here uh, give some more. Uh, for example, you can change the multiplier, right? And keep playing with this, right? So the next the next property that I want to give you is the. Um, let me just try to to see here, for example, the max. The max, okay, the max back off, uh, in, uh, uh, the back off a uh, max interval, okay, which is ten seconds. So if you use, for example, here, let's just use the max back off interval, max, uh, yeah, back off max interval. If we put, for example, uh, let's suppose uh, ten seconds, okay. So even if we have here the multiplier. It will multiply, okay, but it won't be, okay, greater than this, okay. So this is very nice, guys. Try to understand. You try to invoke, okay. You consume an event, and we, when you handle uh, that event, you try to to do something, and you get some exception. But remember, some exception are not retriable, okay. Bad request is not retriable. Uh, Deserialization exception is not retriable. Okay, think about what you can retry when you are dealing with retry mechanism. Okay, so in that order, let's go back here. For example, it's it's nice because if you retry first time, let's suppose at eleven, and you retry at 11 uh, one second okay and then at 11 two seconds it's it's not good right you should give okay you should understand when you can retry for example give some time okay that allow the target system to recover so if you think about the concept of secret breaker uh, you will understand so uh, maybe the target system is half open right so I don't want to mess you guys with circuit breaker, but it's 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 some something that we are going to talk in in next videos, okay? And yes, this is what we have here. So remember, guys, you just need to understand a little bit more about the back of algorithm, okay? And when and what we can retry. And we are talking about the stateful retry. And guys, also uh, the last but not least, you can also, for example, give. Uh, how can I say like the error handler uh, definition like uh, we can say okay in order to handle some exception in this in this in this particular uh, consumer okay use something like this so for example here uh, we have this and we can just say okay error handle definition and then pass it our her error handler definition so guys keep playing with the consumer and spring cloud stream properties because we uh, um, we are dealing with with it, okay, and yes, I think I think that's all. I don't want this video to be so 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 long, and hope that you play a little bit more. Remember, guys, uh, sometimes uh, we cannot uh, cover all the concepts, but understand that there is a multiplier, okay. The default values are the one that we have here in Spring uh, documentation, okay. So if you have, for example, uh, this custom configurations, okay, you will end up just, for example, um, I don't know, you will end up with 
for, for some particular use cases, okay, it will be nice for you, but remember, sometimes you will need to customize your uh, retries, okay? And the way that you should customize your retries is by using these properties and thinking about the uh, error handler. And yeah, so this is the concept of retries using stateful retry, okay? And back off. See you in the next video.